Hi, I am Dr. Vaibhav Deraje. I am a consultant craniofacial and plastic surgeon, Bangalore. Now, craniosynostosis can be of two types. One is non-syndromic craniosynostosis and the other is syndromic craniosynostosis. Now, syndromic craniosynostosis are usually caused when there is an underlying abnormal gene that has been identified. Now, one such syndrome is something called as Apert syndrome, where the FGFR mutation happens and that's why there is an abnormal gene that can be identified, which causes fusion of multiple growth plates in the brain. Now, Apert syndrome babies can have a lot of problems. Because of this multi-suture craniosynostosis, there can be abnormally shaped head this abnormal shape can be brachycephaly where the head is flat from front to back. It can also be very tall. It is called as turicephaly. Now, these babies can also have something called as exophthalmos causing protrusion of the eyeballs. You might have seen children with faces where the shape of the head is abnormal along with protruding eyeballs. Now, these children can also have a very flat face and that can cause some obstruction in breathing as well, which causes something called as an obstructive sleep apnea. These children also can have problems with the bite in the teeth because the face is flat. These children can have fused fingers. This can be very simple fusion of only just one or two web spaces or it can range up to full fusion of all the four limbs, not only the hands, but also the fusion of all the toes in the feet. It is called a syndactyly. It can be syndactyly of the hands. It can be syndactyly of the toes. Some of these children can also have some cardiac anomalies. Some of the children can have respiratory anomalies as well. Now, when more than one suture is fused in craniosynostosis, that can really compress the brain. And there are very high chances of these children developing raised intracranial pressure. Now, as per our experience, most of the Apert syndrome babies, if treated properly, move on and lead a normal life. But there are 10 to 15 percent of the children who can have mental retardation and might require more support. Now, to prevent the increase in the pressure of the brain, there are multiple procedures that might be required for Apert syndrome babies, starting from fronto-orbital advancement or expansion of the back of the head to increase the space inside the skull so that there is no development of pressure. Also, some procedures might be needed to support the eyeballs and also improve the airway to improve the obstructive sleep apnea. Now, these procedures are tailor-made, customized for each baby's after discussion with the multidisciplinary team. This team involves plastic surgeons like us, neurosurgeons, pulmonologists, speech pathologists, dentists, psychiatrists and nurses.